Yusuf. I thank Samimo for that detailed update. That was our senior political reporter, Patrick Amimo all the way from the Supreme Court and this is what we know so far that by 1 p.m. today NASA are expected to file the written submission and at 7 p.m. we expect the IABC or Fula Chebukati that is the chairman of the IABC as well as President Uhur Kenyatta to file their own written submission. Now uh, before I come to you, Oliver, and you talk about you know issues to do sub is something that uh, our lawyer Nelson Harvey has uh, really uh, explained. Uh, Ambani, I heard you, you are a bit tickled when you heard uh, IEBC dismissing NASA's figures as mere statistics. Um, yes, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the most interesting things about uh, what is uh, panning out there in the public is that uh, when NASA came up with these uh, allegations that elections were not free and fair, mm -hmm. IBC kept on punching holes in their assertions. But now IBC... That is expected, though. ...who mm -hmm. were in charge of the elections mm -hmm. and they were streaming these elections live on television and to the public are now coming out negating what they published out there. So how do you expect a public to have faith in an institution mm -hmm. that generates information, shares the information to the public, and when they are put to test, they chicken out? Mm -hmm. Harvey, we've been talking about, you know, everyone has been talking about NASA having some sort of a watertight evidence this time round. And uh, IEBC, from what they're saying from their David, they seems they are very confident of, you know, the their response to all this evidence that has been tabled by NASA? <clears throat> now that uh, IBC and President Uhuru Kenyatta have filed their responses, <clears throat> it's easy to see how the case crystallizes and what really are the issues. Now, on the part of the IBC, the weakest link in their defense has come out quite clear. Now, the Constitution is quite clear. An election is supposed to be conducted in a free and fair manner. And the pillars to a free and fair election are quite elaborate. The process, whatever it is that has been used, should be one that should disclose the result in an accurate, simple, transparent, and verifiable manner. Mm -hmm. Now, what does the Constitution say and what have the court said about the transmission of election results? It was quite clear. The results were to emanate from the polling stations go simultaneously to the National Tiling Center as well as to the Constituency Tiling Center. Mm -hmm. There was no provision for provisional results. In fact, the Court of Appeal said affirmatively, we cannot have provisional results. By the time the returning officer and the chairman of the IBC is receiving the results, they are final results. And what happened on the day that uh, we started uh, receiving the streamed results? Mm -hmm. They started coming uh, through the portal and projected uh, through national TV. And when uh, NASA queried the money in which they were being handled, because they didn't come with the attendant form 34A and form 34B, mm -hmm. Chabukati is on air and he made it innocently <coughs> uh, clear that these are not results, disregard them. Now, what has come out in their response is mm -hmm. those who are not results, they were statistics. But you see, that is a differentiation without distinction. Statistics are results. Mm -hmm. What IBC projected in actual fact is not what they were supposed to do under the Constitution or as decided by the court. Now, decisions have been made by numerous courts. Mm -hmm. In fact, the only one that we need to take refuge in is the decision by Justice Maraga, mm -hmm. as he was then a High Court judge in Mombasa. That is the case of Joho versus Nyange. Mm -hmm. He said, an election will be nullified if it is not conducted substantially in the manner provided by the law. That is number one. Number two, the election may also be annulled if though conducted substantially in accordance with the law, it has irregularities, however minimal they are. Now, if you look at that issue alone, mm -hmm. it is quite clear that the court that is handling this matter is confounded with a situation that is as clear as daylight. Mm -hmm. Now, the other issue that uh, we may want just to look at uh, on a peripheral uh, aspect mm -hmm. is the issue of election offenses, which 
on the part of NASA, it's been alleged that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta used state resources and also used state officers to campaign mm -hmm. and also advertise the achievements of his uh, government on the government portal. Mm -hmm. Now, look at the issue of the advertisement in the government portal. What mm -hmm. has uh, been the defense taken in respect of that issue? It has been said, yes, we advertised on the government portal, but the law in the Public Officers Ethics Act and the Election Offenses Act that prohibits us from advertising is unconstitutional because it limits our right mm -hmm. to express ourselves. Now, first and foremost, that's an admission. Uh, secondly, that law has not been declared unconstitutional by the High Court. It cannot be in the purview of the Supreme Court to consider the constitutionality or otherwise of that law. That's number two. Number three, a state or any state officer cannot resile in the comfort of the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights was mm -hmm. designed for the benefit of the citizenry, not the benefit of the ruler. Mm -hmm. That uh, is number have it, have it, hold on to th that thought, of course, I'm going to come back to you shortly. But for now, let's cross over to Eldred, where the Kenya National Union of Nurses chairman is at this moment addressing uh, the press. Let's listen into what he has to say.